वेलकम माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस वीडियो इज फॉर क्लास सेवेंथ सब्जेक्ट इज कंप्यूटर आई एम योर कंप्यूटर टीचर अनुराधा गुप्ता गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन चैप्टर वन पार्ट टू इन दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज मार्क दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट टू ऑफ चैप्टर वन computer hardware and software in this video we are going to cover the following topics and the topics are processing devices storage devices software and what is the relationship between hardware and software Let's start the first topic of the video and the topic is processing device a device which processes data is called cpu cpu stands for central processing unit it is the processor or we can say it is the brain of the computer it makes calculations and processes data into the information the cpu controls all input and output devices with the help of this picture we can easily depict the working of cpu cpu receives data through input devices and process on data and produce information on output devices the cpu consists of three units alu cu and mu let's learn about the three units of cpu in detail first is alu alu stands for arithmetic logical unit it perform the task of arithmetic calculations as well as logical operations second is cu cu stands for control unit it controls all operations of the computer third unit of cpu is mu mu stands for memory unit it is used to receive hold and deliver data as per the instructions from the control unit let's move further and learn the second topic of the video and that is storage devices storage devices of a computer is also called computer memory storage devices are used to store data and information computer memory is classified into two categories primary memory and secondary memory in primary memory ram and rom are considered in opposite hand secondary memory hard disk compact disk and pen drives are considered let's learn them in a detail first we start with primary memory primary memory is temporary memory it consists of ram and rom ram stands for random access memory while rom stands for read only memory these memories are attached to the motherboard of the cpu let's move to the other hand of computer memory and that is secondary memory 
secondary memory is permanent memory so it is also called non volatile memory some of the examples of secondary memory are hard disk floppy disk compact disk which we are calling cd and pen drive which devices we are using externally to store data and information they are known as secondary memory next we have to learn about software software refer to a set of programs that control the computer hardware to make them operate softwares we cannot touch but we can feel them software is classified into two categories and the categories are system software and application software let's learn them in detail let's start with the first and that is system software system software performs the basic functions that are important to operate a computer system operating system is an example of system software and most commonly used operating system is windows have you ever think your computer will work without windows no whenever we switch on our computer system first windows get loaded in primary memory then we start working on it let's move to the second type of softwares they are application softwares application software consists of set of programs that are used to do specialized tasks including payroll inventory spreadsheet desktop publishing etc which softwares perform specific task that softwares are known as application softwares let's look some examples of application software examples are ms word ms powerpoint ms excel whatever softwares we use for a specific task they are known as application software like ms word we are using for creating documents ms powerpoint we are using for creating presentations excel we are using for creating spreadsheets students please mark one note here without system software we cannot use application software suppose we not install any window on our computer system and we have excel software with us we cannot make a use of excel software without installing windows in our computer system let's move to the last topic of the video and the topic is relationship between hardware and software hardware is the component of a computer system that we can see and touch software is a set of program containing instructions and commands that are used to operate hardware component 
दे बोथ आर रिलेटेड टू ईच अदर विदाउट हार्डवेयर वी कैन नॉट यूज सॉफ्टवेयर एंड विदाउट सॉफ्टवेयर वी कैन नॉट मेक यूज ऑफ एनी हार्डवेयर लेट्स लर्न विद एन एग्जाम्पल कैन वी मेक अ यूज ऑफ प्रिंटर विदाउट सॉफ्टवेयर नो वी कैन नॉट यूज प्रिंटर विदाउट सॉफ्टवेयर विदाउट सॉफ्टवेयर हु विल इंस्ट्रक्ट प्रिंटर ऑन अपोजिट हैंड कैन वी राइट एनी थिंग ऑन एनी सॉफ्टवेयर विदाउट माउस और की बोर्ड नो वी कैन नॉट राइट अ सिंगल लेटर ऑन एनी सॉफ्टवेयर विदाउट की बोर्ड और माउस इट मीन्स सॉफ्टवेयर एंड हार्डवेयर आर कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री टू ईच अदर विदाउट वन वी कैन नॉट मेक अ यूज ऑफ अनादर दिस इज अ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर आफ्टर लर्निंग लेट्स डू सम टास्क टेक आउट अ पेपर एंड पेन write the answers of these questions here is the first question identify the type of software given in the picture and your time starts now let's move to the second question here you need to identify which type of software device is given in the picture and your time starts now let's check our answer our first answer is application software in this picture we have ms paint ms paint software is used for drawing an objects for coloring them for a specific task we are using ms paint that's why this is an application software our second answer is secondary memory i hope you have written both the answers correctly i hope you written both the answers correct if you written both the answers correct then your score is 20 if your any answer is wrong then your score is 10 or 0 students don't forget to share your score in the comment box along with your name class and section and be honest while sharing your score in the comment box this is all about the part 2 of chapter 1 computer hardware and software i hope you learn and got all the topics covered in this video class thank you for attending bye bye for now i hope soon we will meet in next video